I, I think that I was put here to do something for the entertainment and enjoyment of fans. With the backdrop of the St. Lawrence, I had a chance to talk to one of my broadcasting heroes. So somehow, history favors the Boston Celtics, but today the Lakers will try to defy history. Dick Stockton's career has spanned 52 years. From a local radio station in Philadelphia to covering some of the most iconic national sporting events. hits again with a skyhook. Stockton's distinctive voice and smooth stylings have taken us on a sports journey. It all began at Syracuse University. The reason why I went to Syracuse was their journalism school. They had a marvelous journalism school. I never thought about broadcasting. I wanted to be a sports writer. Kind of by accident, I got into broadcasting when a friend suggested I try out for WAER, and I did, and the rest is history. But the Celtics also know that they have trailed three games to two. His first big break came in Boston. Our station, WBZ, carried 20 Celtic games, and the first play-by-play -play I did in that sport was the Boston Celtics. And then I was called back, I was hired to do the Boston Red Sox starting in 1975, which was the year that they won the pennant, and NBC selected me to be one of the home team broadcasters in the World Series. And I was so uh, blessed to be in the right place at the right time and call Carlton Fisk home run in the 12th inning of game number six. What do you remember? I mean, I, you know, you've, it's, you, you see Fisk dancing down the line trying to keep the ball fair. Carlton Fisk comes up to lead off in that, you know, takes a pitch. There's a ball. And then he hits one down the line. Mm -hmm. And it was like, what do you do? Because it's not one of those, you know, rhapsodic calls oh, of sure. a home run. Sure. You know, there's a drive deep to left field. You know, back goes Foster. Looking up, it's gone. Well, that would have been great. Right. Instead, it was a line drive down oh, the yeah. line. And so the... It's all instinct. It was a long drive. If it stays fair, home run. Home run, when I knew it was a home run. From there, you, get, you got into, uh, into network. How did, how did that come about? Well, it came about really because uh, when I was working in Pittsburgh at the age of 24 and at KDKA, uh, I got to be very close with the Rooney family of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was Dan and, and, and the late Art Rooney and the late Dan Rooney, who passed away just recently, who was a, a great personal friend for many years, called uh, Bill McPhail at CBS and said, we have a, a, a young broadcaster that you should take a look at. And uh, uh, I didn't even know they had done that. I found out uh, after the fact, and CBS hired me to do post-game shows. At CBS, Stockton covered everything from NFL football to college and pro basketball, Major League Baseball, and was even a part of two Olympic Games. And it is a world record. Stockton left CBS for Fox in 1994 and has since been a mentor for up and coming talent. I've broken in all of the analysts on Fox from Troy Aikman to uh, uh, Daryl Johnson to Rondé Barber and, and, and John Lynch, who's now with the 49ers as a GM. And so football is the one sport, the only sport that I actually broadcast right now. You are a, a youthful 74? Yes. Okay. What keeps you going? What, what is it? I never have to manufacture enthusiasm. It's not a false enthusiasm because I think you can tell right. when an announcer is just trying to be excited for the sake of being excited. And I love it. And I feel that when I do a game, it's over in 10 minutes. That's how fast it goes, even the three-hour game. And I, I just I, I lo love the excitement of the game. And uh, as long as, uh, you know, I feel that way, I'll still do it.